The Unforgiven is a masterpiece and one of Metallica's best songs. It is the power ballad that appears as the fourth track on the band's most commercially successful 1991 Black Album. The album featured songs that deviated from Metallica's thrash formula on the first four records. The music was made simpler, slower, shorter and more marketable. The band also confidently delved deeper into ballads and recorded Nothing Else Matters, their most famous song and The Unforgiven. The latter though doesn't get talked about as often. One of the main things Metallica did on the fifth album was experiment by layering several tracks on top of each other. This song is a perfect example of that. Therefore today we're looking at 12 things you may not have noticed while listening to The Unforgiven. Before we begin, if you support my content, please be sure to like the video, share it with all your friends and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get all new videos. Number 1. The Bell Yes, that is the same bell, correction, anvil, used on For Whom the Bell Tolls. Sometimes, sampling one's own music is a way of referencing an older song. There could be a meaning behind this. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 2. Bridge Pickup the famous guitar melody in the intro was played by James Hetfield on the bridge pickup. He usually plays clean riffs on the neck pickup to achieve his signature warm tone. I'm assuming it's Hetfield since it is on the left channel. Number 3. Orchestra Instruments Not sure if the SFSO played on this one as they did on Nothing Else Matters or if the band just decided to use keyboards. But there are strings, double bass, and whatever this is. Number 4. Riff Variation Now we're talking about the flamenco guitar riff. Right before the verse begins, the riff is a bit different. That variation is repeated multiple times throughout the song. Number 5. Unconventional Melody I'm talking about the vocal melody, which is doubled by the rhythm guitars. It is strange. Metallica had never used such a sequence before. The use of the F sharp means that the scale is A minor in the Dorian mode. Number 6. Pre-chorus riff. A very underrated riff due to not being so audible. Number 7. Backup Guitar After the second chorus, the main riff is played an octave lower on an extra track, but is barely heard. Number 8. The Melody Underneath the Solo There is a guitar melody near the end of the solo that goes like this. You've probably heard this before. It was sampled for a 2017 live performance in Edmonton, Alberta. Number 9. Strumming I once saw a video from Andre Vasilenko's channel titled Why You Almost Never Hear Strumming in Metallica Songs. Indeed, the band rarely utilizes the technique of strumming and instead uses arpeggios in order not to follow an overrated trend. Although, when you play any power chord, you're technically strumming. However, the only songs he mentioned which do not contain strumming were Mama Said and Low Man's Lyric. If you listen closely to the parts right after the final chorus of The Unforgiven, you can hear this. Mm -hmm. 
Yup, you heard it. Maybe Andre did mention the song implicitly, but I'm still not sure. Number 10. Near M Melody After the final chorus and when James repeats the line, so I dub the Unforgiven, you can barely hear the following lick. Number 11. Unusual Percussion Maracas, tambourines, and more. Lars Ulrich tried several percussion instruments on the Black Album. You can hear them in multiple spots throughout the song. Number 12. Final Bass Lick The last thing you didn't notice was this variation of the main bass riff by Jason Newstead. Sadly, it received the Jason Newstead treatment thanks to you know who. Kidding, the song just fades out. The bass is actually very audible and effective on the Unforgiven. That's all, thank you very much. Do you think there are things that you noticed and I did not? If yes, feel free to type it down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time.